Hey guys, we're in Wedgehurst today, one of the first towns that you're in in the game where you can actually buy berries, the first three basic berries, Oron Berry, Cherry Berry, and Peacha Berry. Now that's not what this video today is about. We have two other things to tell you in this video, a way to reset berry trees in like a matter of a minute, <laughs> like to put berries back on all the trees in the world, and then we'll show you the location of every single berry tree in the wild area one by one. So we're going to go into this max raid with a wishing piece, and we're going to invite others, but before the timer goes, well, as it starts, we're going to close the game, well not close the game, go to system settings, and we're going to immediately go to system, go to date and time without it being synchronized, change the day, click OK. We're going to go one day in the future and we're going to go back to our game again and we're going to quit. Now what this does is it resets the whole game. So everything that is time based actually resets. So the trees will now have berries on them again. So we can farm the whole wild area using this technique and just do it over and over and over. It takes about 10 minutes to actually farm all of the, the things in the wild area. And you can also collect watts this way as well, which is pretty cool. So let's get to, they're starting from the meetup spot. You're going to drive out the gate and head towards the left. You'll see right next to this big tree is a berry tree. Now I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to get all the berries on this tree. And then I'll continue to show you all the locations. So if you listen and watch the shape of the tree when they're kind of spread apart when the shakes are really far apart you know you can keep shaking the tree but once it gets to a point where it's shaking this fast you get one more turn one more turn when it's shaking like almost every every go then you quit and that's pretty much how you do it so as soon as the tree starts shaking like you can do it once more and then you stop the second tree is right over here in this weird like cut out path of grass as the the slope continues here next to the little dam and then I'll take you to the other one. There's two over here next to a watch trader over here. The first tree being on the left side and the further one being right there next to the watch trader as well. And you just continue your shaking. I got 11 berries from that one. It was pretty nice. You can actually get like almost 10 berries from every single tree. If you're like, you know, on an average amount of things and some fancy apples. The next tree is over here just above looking over the lake kind of like area here. And the next one is very close to it. You just drive here over slowly and you'll find it right there as well. So we're on the very left side of the wild area in the beginning area and we'll head to this kind of like watchtower, the broken ruined watchtower. There's one right over here as well with all the, the ghost-like things. Now we're going to head over this water pool, water dam area to this little island in the middle and we're going to get this tree over here. There's also a den over there if in case you wanted to come here and visit this den. The next one is along the way over here. You should recognize this area quite, quite easily if you've played in the wild area often enough. I mean it's really really simple so it's right here so just grab that one on and head on all the way to the back the back it's like the bottom right of the wild area and we'll get this tree here the watch trader is literally just opposite there at the bridge so now we're going to head over the second into the second area of the wild area and we're going to go immediately to the right you'll see there is a berry tree right over here so we're just going to quickly grab this one and we'll head over to the next one which is on the opposite side hidden in this little corner down over here and that's how we get this one and then the next one is over this little path here where you obviously need your water bicycle to, to use and you will shake this tree and you'll get this one here. The next one actually has three trees all next to each other. Like just three of them. All next, it's like amazing. You just get one tree, get the next tree, and then the next tree. And then we're going to move on. We're going to take the right path around this thing as like a kind of loop. You'll see this one's right before this little dam over here. The little like weird little pond thing. I don't know what I call it. It's like a little body of water on our right. And now we're going to teleport over to just before Hammerlock there, the Hammerlock Hills there, right at the top there, just a little quick thing here. The next one will be like almost right in front of us. We're going to head over here. Yes, yeah, so pretty much just head straight from that point there, and it's right over here overlooking like the dusty area. Now we're going to head over to this corner here, and it's right over here. Cool, nice and easy. Now the next one is actually very, very hidden. You're going to have to go around here, get onto the water, swim back around here well, with your motorbike, water bike. I, I don't even know what to call that. It looks like a bicycle with tennis balls on the sides. It's super odd. The next one, the last one, is actually here, overlooking the, the much of the, the wild area from this angle. And this is the final one in the wild area, and it takes roughly about 10 minutes to actually hit all these locations. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in a future video.